G'day folks, it's Cortezarino and welcome to the final installment of the Takashima Castle tutorial. So we've already built the entire castle and today we are just focusing on doing the furniture. So this video will be very interesting for you even if you're not building the Takashima Castle. It will give you tons and tons of Japanese furniture ideas. And let's jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is make these five banners so we have them ready when we need them. So the first banner we're going to make is this one right here. And these are the steps for making it. So you start with a red banner, you add some yellow lines, and then I've placed the steps up above. So to that yellow lines, you add the red bricks and you get this banner. Then you add the yellow border and you end up with that, and then a red border, and you get the final product. So you can just pause the video here and make one of those. And the next two banners are very similar. So what I want you to do is make two more copies of this. So you've got three in total. Then you can take one of those copies, add a red line to it, and you get this banner. And then I want you to take the other copy you made, add a yellow flower charge, and we get this banner. So that's our first three done. Now we're going to move on to a very different kind of banner, this one here. So we're going to start with a black banner, add white bricks, and then the steps are up above. We're going to add a white line to that side, then a white line to the other side. Then you can add a white flower charge in the middle and finish with a white border. And that is your finished banner. And for our final banner, we'll start with a black banner, add white bricks, and then we're going to add a white line down the middle, then a white border, then we're going to add a white square in that corner, and finish with a white line across the middle. And now that you've got your five banners done, we're going to make a bunch of copies of these. So for this first banner, you're going to need five in total. For the second banner, you'll need six. For the third one, you'll need 14. This one, you'll need two. And this one, you'll need three. Okay, let's get started. I want you to come in the front door of the castle, turn around, and we'll put two flower pots here with dead bushes and flowering azalea leaves on top. Then turn to your left, right here in between the windows, two spruce trapdoors and they will have oak trapdoors each side. We'll put a flower pot right there with an azalea in it. Then hold shift, we'll place an item frame on the trapdoor with a spyglass. Okay, now we're going to turn all the way around and just over here, we're gonna put down two pods all and surround them with acacia trapdoors and plant two rose bushes. Then come in here to our bookcase, we'll put two barrels right there. Then with oak trapdoors, we'll put two, another two, and another two. Now, holding shift here, come in here, and we're going to go one, two, three, four spruce trapdoors, and then open them all up just like that. And we'll do the same on this side, one, two, three, four, and open them all up. And then just up the top here, we're going to place two spruce trapdoors. Then grab some scaffolding, place it there with a lantern. Okay, now we're going to turn to the right and just in front of this window, we're going to put two dark oak fences with dark oak trapdoors each side. And then just holding shift, we'll place two red carpet on top. Now we're going to put down two green beds. We want one here and one right here. And then on the backs of these, we are going to put spruce trapdoors. So we'll do the same over here. And then on each side, we're going to put some armrests. So these are spruce signs. So we've just made two little lounge chairs. Now we will also put a chest right there. And then on the left here, I want you to look at your lounge chair Grab some dark oak trapdoors and just on this side, we're going to go one, two, three. On the fourth block, place a trapdoor. Come to the other side of our lounge. Look here, go one, two, three, four. Place another one. So we're going to put a painting in here. So we'll just put a block there so we don't get a huge painting. 
And I got the one I wanted first time, the Creeper painting. Okay, just to the left of our window, we're going to place a flower pot and a flowering azalea. Then a dark oak trapdoor there with a flower pot and a blue orchid. And then we're going to look over to this far corner and we'll place another flower pot. We'll place a dead bush inside with flowering azalea leaves. And just over here, we're going to place a podzol. We will surround it with our acacia trapdoors. And then right up the top here next to the snow, just above that, we're going to place some string. And then you can grab a bamboo, we'll plant it there. And you can either let it grow or bone meal it. So this room's all done. We're going to head back to our front door. And just underneath this window here, we're going to put two dark oak fence gates with dark oak trapdoors each side. And then just hold shift and place two green carpet on top. Now right in the middle of the wall here, we're going to place a spruce slab. And then holding shift, we're going to go one, two spruce trapdoors and open them up. And the same on the other side. Then you can place a spruce slab in the middle. On top of that, we're going to place a flower pot with a little white flower. Then underneath this window here, what we're going to do is put our back to the window and place two looms just like that. You can hold shift, place brown carpet on top. And then we're going to place a spruce trapdoor each side. And then you can grab some item frames. Hold shift, we'll place an item frame on each one with spruce slabs in them. And then we're just going to turn them to make handles. Okay, now I want you to turn around and look over here. Right here, we're going to place a scaffolding with a flower pot and a bit of bamboo. And we'll also place a iron pressure plate right there. Now you'll need to come up your stairs a little bit. I want you to turn around and we're looking up here. So I want you to count across one, two, three. On the fourth block, we're going to place some iron bars. And we're going to hang a chain from that. And just underneath the chain, we'll put a temporary block. And that's just so we can surround it with birch trapdoors. Then you can break that temporary block and hang a lantern. Okay, we're going to walk past our light and over to this alcove here. We'll place in three pods all. We'll also place an extra one right there. And we'll put three spruce trapdoors in front here. We'll do a fern, grass, and a flowering azalea. And up above, we'll place three oak trapdoors. Over here, we'll place two acacia trapdoors. And I want you to count up one, two, three, four blocks. We'll place some string. You can plant some bamboo and either let it grow or bone meal it. Now you can turn around, look underneath our stairs, and we're just looking at this wall here. So skipping a block, we're going to place two temporary blocks right there. And then just on this side, two acacia trapdoors. And then break it. That's just so the little black bit of the trapdoor is facing the wall. Now on each side of this, we're going to hold shift and place down two more acacia trapdoors. Just like that. On top, we'll put a flower pot with a birch sapling. Then grab some scaffolding. We'll place it there with a lantern and a chest right beside it. Now turn to your right, look into this room, and all the way up on this back wall here, I want to put a painting where that block is. So we're just going to put a spruce trapdoor each side of that, and we'll put our painting in in a moment. And turning to the right, we want another painting right there. So we'll put spruce trapdoors each side and we'll put another painting in so i want the wither for that one got it first time let's see if i'm successful here we just want a little painting no that's not what i want there we go that's the one i want you're of course free to use any paintings you want to use so now we're going to turn around look back at this doorway and just here we're going to place four temporary blocks and we're doing what we did before with the acacia trapdoors we're just going to place them from that side so there they are, and then each side we are going to place another one, just holding shift, and flick them down. Now I want you to grab two item frames, and holding shift we'll place them right there. In the bottom one we'll place some sweet berries, in the top one we'll place cocoa beans, then grab a coral fan and place it right there. I'm using the dead horn coral, and we'll also put in a brewing stand. 
And it's a little bit dark in this corner, so we'll put an acacia fence there and hang a lantern. Turn to your left, we'll place a scaffolding with a barrel and a tripwire hook. And then turn to your left again, we'll place a flower pot, dead bush and jungle leaves. Okay, we can look back at our doorway here. And just on this side, right in the corner, I want you to place two temporary blocks, then a stripped spruce wood on top. This is the one with bark on all six sides. And then we'll do the same thing here. Two temporary blocks with a stripped spruce wood. And then we'll place a temporary block right there. We'll put an end rod on that side of it and a chain on that side. Then you can break it. We'll also place a chain right there and then upside down spruce stairs below it. Then you can break those temporary blocks. Grab some armor stands, look from the side, we'll place one right there. And from this side, another. Now grab some pistons, we're going to place two there. Place a redstone block in the middle, then break that. Go back to your temporary blocks, we'll place two right there. Then another redstone block, now break that, break your pistons and your temporary blocks. And so now we have a lovely little sword stand and just above that we're going to use some of our banners. So right in the middle we're going to do that one and then we'll do the one with the flower charge each side. Now we're going to put in a great big table, so look over to where your barrel is here. And just here we're going to place two temporary blocks with upside down dark oak stairs against them. Then you can break them, we'll put a dark oak slab in the middle, then one, two, three, four dark oak slabs, and we'll do that each side. Then grab your temporary blocks again, we'll place two there, look from this side, two upside down dark oak stairs, break your temporary blocks, and we'll put a dark oak slab right there. Then grab smooth red sandstone slabs, and we'll place four in the middle. Now we're just going to put some chairs around our table, so break out that block, Place in a sea lantern. Then on this side, we're going to break out these two. Two sea lanterns up the end here. Same thing. And on this side, it'll be those two. And sea lanterns. So for each of these, we're just going to build a chair. It's really simple. A spruce trapdoor on top of the sea lantern with an oak trapdoor behind it. So just go around putting these in. And now we're going to decorate our table. So look at it from this side. Right in the middle, we'll put three candles there and three right there. And you can light them up. I'm not using colored candles here. They're just the, the plain candles. On this side, we'll put a flower pot with a lily of the valley. And then three turtle eggs right there. Now turn to your left and we're going to put in some sliding doors right here. So hold shift, we'll go one, two, three, four trap doors. These are oak trap doors and flick them down. On this side, we're going to do that again, but we will do it twice this time. And you can flick all of them. Then we're going to come around to this side of it. Holding shift at the top of those trap doors, we are going to place in birch trap doors this time. And you can flick all them down in the same on this side. So that's how your sliding doors should look when you're done. And as we go, just break these torches as we won't need them anymore. Okay, staying in this room, I want you to turn to the left and look at this wall over here. So over here, we're going to place a barrel. Then we'll place a spruce trapdoor right there. And each side of that, we're going to flick up two more spruce trapdoors. And we'll place a wither skeleton just on a bit of an angle. So we'll place it like that. So the face is facing the wall. And that just looks like a little black Japanese teapot. Over in this corner, we'll do a flower pot with a dead bush and two flowering azalea leaves. Now we can look up at the ceiling where we've got our air vent. From each of these chiseled blackstone, we're going to hang two chains. So do four of them, and then on the ends we are going to place a spruce fence. And then grab spruce fence gates, and we're just going to place four of these in, connecting our fences, and then you can hold shift and place a fence right in the middle. And from that we're going to hang two chains. Okay, come directly beneath this chain, and then break the block below it. 
And then we're going to knock out all the blocks around that as well. And then we'll put in some stairs. So I'm going to start with a cobblestone stair and another one right there. And then we'll grab andesite. I'll place one there and one there. And then just grab stone stairs and we'll complete our little circle. And you can grab a campfire, place it down below. And then we're just going to hang a cauldron from our chain. Now you can turn to the left, look in this wall here. So right in the middle between the windows, we'll place two barrels. On each side, we'll go one, two, three spruce trap doors, just like that. So hold shift, one, two, three, open them up, and then across the top, two spruce slabs. And to decorate this, we'll place a flower pot there, and another. This one will have a brown mushroom. Then we'll place a cake beside it. Then we'll go two item frames with oak trapdoors. Then we'll just turn them around like that. Then grab spruce signs. We'll place one right there. Just aim at the barrel. And another one right there. And right in this corner, we'll do a flower pot, dead bush, and flowering azalea. And next to that, we will place a single chest. Then turn to your left and over here we're going to place two deep slate bricks and they will have campfires in front. So just look from the side and then put them out with a shovel and then we'll place one, two, three stone up the back. Then with smooth quartz blocks we'll place one, two, three. Now above our campfires I want you to look from this direction, place in two trapdoors then flick them up and then we're going to grab a two powered rail, place them there with hopper mine carts on top and grab a redstone block and we'll power the rail. Then you can break your redstone and the two trapdoors. Now be careful not to accidentally move those mine carts, but we'll break the rail behind them as well. So just above our mine carts, I want you to place a quartz stair on each side. In front of that, a quartz slab. And then we're going to put pistons above them. So one, two, and one, two, both facing down. You can grab your redstone blocks and we'll place two right there. And then you can break all of that. So we'll go back to our quartz stairs. We'll place them on top of the stone. And just in front here, one, two, three quartz slabs. So now we've got a little cooking station so you can light your fire underneath and cook all your goodies above. So now we'll grab a bell. I'm just going to hang it from there right in the middle. We'll look from the side and hang a grindstone beside it and we'll put a composter right there. And the final thing to do in this room is to put in a little mat. So look at our chest. We're going to skip a block and then break those two and we'll break four more. One, two, three, four and the four beside it and we're just going to fill that in with dried kelp blocks. Now you can come through this doorway, turn to the right with acacia stairs. We're going to place one upside down there, then two, then looking from the side, another one right there. You can grab a flower pot with a crimson fungus. We'll do two white candles. Don't light them up though, because we're going to put an end rod right there. Now in the materials list from the first video, I said that you had optional skeleton skulls because that makes a nice little lamp. If you don't have that, you can use an ochre frog light. And now you can turn to your left, come over to this wall here, and next to our pillars, we're going to place podzole with rose bushes on top. Now just in front of the podzole, we'll put acacia trapdoors, and then on the sides, we're going to place upside down acacia stairs with two more right in the middle. Now turn to your right, Next to this pillar, we're going to place a barrel. Then we'll skip one, two, three blocks and place another barrel. Now grab temporary blocks. We're going to place two on each side. On top of those, stripped dark oak wood. This is the one with bark on all six sides. Then place a temporary block here. We'll put an end rod on that side. A chain on that side. You can break your temporary block and we'll place a chain right there. And just underneath that chain, we'll do upside down spruce stairs. Then you can break your temporary blocks and where they were, we're going to place armor stands. So look from the side, place that one. And looking from the side, place another. Now we'll put two pistons up there. Power them, then break your redstone block. 
We'll put in two temporary blocks, power them again, now break your pistons and your temporary blocks. We'll put spruce trapdoors in front of the dark oak. Now grab this red banner and we're going to place it right here, just holding shift against the window, and we'll place one on each side. And just in front of this sword stand, we're going to build a table. So I want you to knock out that block and these two right here, and we'll place in sea lanterns. These, of course, don't have to be sea lanterns. You can use jack-o'-lanterns or anything you like. On top of those, we'll put brown carpet. Then looking from this side, we're going to place in oak trapdoors and flick them up. Now in front of those chairs, we're going to place daylight detectors. So we'll place five along there with another five in front, and then we're just going to build three matching chairs on this side. And that's it for the bottom floor. We're all done, so now we're going to place four paintings in our staircase. So come along to here, look at this bookcase, and place your painting in, and I got the one I wanted first try. So now we're going to look up at these two sea lanterns, and place in temporary blocks like that, and once again, I got the one I wanted first try. That won't last forever. But uh, you can see we've got another sea lantern here and then another one just up there. And we want to place little paintings in these. So put your temporary blocks in and start searching for the one you want. And these are the paintings I used. So right here I used that one and I used that painting up there. So now we can come back down to this level here and we're going to walk out this doorway and look just up here we're going to break that block and place in a sea lantern and there'll be a single painting on top of that if you look to your right here you can see two sea lanterns there'll be a painting there and there'll also be one right here and so I've placed in the painting so if you come through the door that's the one I've done there on these sea lanterns I've used that one and then I've used this one over here, and you can go ahead and start breaking all your torches as well. We should have enough light in here that we don't need these. So come over to this painting here, and just in front we're going to put an oak trapdoor. And we'll put oak trapdoors each side, then holding shift we'll place cyan carpet on top. Then look over at this painting's. Just diagonally up from this, against this block we'll place two dark oak trapdoors. We'll do a flower pot there with a flowering azalea and then three red candles. And then look over to this painting here. Down below we'll go one, two, three, podzol. Then grab some stripped acacia logs where this pillar's coming down. We're just going to replace that stone with acacia. Same thing here where this pillar is. We're going to put those in. You can knock out that stone, put in some acacia planks. These stone here, we're going to go one, two, three, break them out. We'll also break out that top acacia right there. And then right here, we'll break out those two stone. And then you can also knock out that stone in the floor. Then look from the side and place a stripped oak log in the floor. Above that, we'll do upside down acacia stairs. Then right up the top, another acacia stair with two bookshelves. Now, just over here, we'll plant three rose bushes. And we'll surround the podzole with acacia trapdoors. Now come around here, knock out these four stone blocks. We'll place in two more bookshelves there. Then looking from the side, we'll place two looms. Holding shift, we'll put in item frames. Then oak trapdoors, and then just spin them to make handles. Now turn around, and we're going to do the exact same thing right here. So knock out those six stone blocks. We'll put in two looms with our item frames, four bookshelves on top, and we'll put in our oak trapdoor handles. And then look at this wall here, we'll get rid of that torch. We'll go one, two, three oak trapdoors. We'll flick one up on each side, then holding shift, we'll put three cyan carpet on top. And just above our bench, we are going to hang that banner right there. And then on each side, we'll put flower pots with dark oak saplings. And then turn to your left, we'll place an armor stand right there. And then just grab a crafting table and a leather tunic. We're going to dye that gray 
And we'll also dye some pants grey as well and you can get rid of your crafting table and we'll just dress up our armor stand. Okay, I want you to look over to this doorway here and on the fourth block up, so one, two, three, four, we're going to place temporary blocks and you can put lightning rods under them and then break your temporary blocks. Under the lightning rods, we're going to place armor stands. So just look from the side and place those in. In front of the armor stands, we're going to place two chains. Then grab pistons. We'll place two there and two right there. And then you can place a redstone block next to the top one to power them. And then break your pistons. And we've got two sword stands each side of our door. So now come through your door and just where this stone is here, Put your back to the wall and place in three looms. You can put item frames on the fronts of those with oak trapdoors. And the first two we're going to spin like that. And then the last one like that. And just above this we're going to place a banner right there. So it's the same one we've been using previously. And we'll put a flower pot here with a birch sapling. And just here a flower pot with a dead bush. Two jungle leaves and a double chest. Now turn around to this wall against our sea lanterns we'll place four barrels and we'll do another flower pot with a white flower and then oak trap doors. We'll start just above that you'll have to hold shift to place it against the loom. We'll put a line there and a line above it and then grab spruce trap doors. Come in here we'll place one two three four and flick them all up same from the other side, one, two, three, four, and flick those up as well. And then we're also going to place four spruce trapdoors across the top. And just to the right of this, we're going to place a barrel right there, then two upside down spruce stairs, and another barrel. On top of the barrel, right way up spruce stairs, spruce fences above, and then upside down spruce stairs. Then on top of those stairs, we're going to place two more barrels. Against the sea lanterns, two spruce trapdoors, and just here, two spruce slabs. Now grab red candles, we'll go three right there, and you can light them up, and we'll put a chest right there. And above our chest, we'll hang a chain from that fence, then a flower pot and a fern, then grab a dark oak slab, place it right there, with a dark oak trapdoor behind it, and come over this wall, we'll put acacia planks right in the middle, and then back to the wall, we're going to place a loom on each side. The looms will have item frames in front and we'll put in our trapdoor handles. And just above that, we're going to hang that banner right there. We'll put a lantern here, then an item frame, some crimson roots, and just against the acacia, we'll place a dead horn coral fan. Now grab a flower pot, we'll place him right there with a dead bush and two jungle leaves. And then look at this window, right on the end here we're going to place an oak trapdoor there. And we'll put oak trapdoors each side and a bit of cyan carpet on top. Okay, come along to the centre of this red rug and we're going to skip a block and then place a temporary block with a dark oak slab right there, then break your temporary block. Each side of the slab we're going to place dark oak stairs upside down and then we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three dark oak slabs with three spruce slabs in the middle. We'll place an extra dark oak slab on the end and you can get up on your table and against that two upside down dark oak stairs. Now we're just going to surround this table with chairs. So on the ends we're going to place a sea lantern in the ground and on the two sides, we're going to place them just here. And these chairs are pretty simple. It's just a spruce trapdoor on the sea lantern with an oak trapdoor behind. And we've got enough light in this room now. You can break all your torches. So to decorate the table in the middle here, we're just going to place an iron pressure plate. We'll do three candles, no need to light them up. And two turtle eggs. So we're all done in this room. Now we're going to come down this hallway over to this big room here. So we're looking at this wall just next to this pillar. We're going to place a barrel there and in front of this pillar a barrel right there. 
Now grab temporary blocks for place two and two. On top of them, stripped dark oak wood, the one with bark all the way around. Then we'll put a temporary block there. On this side, we'll put an end rod. On this side, a chain, then break that. We'll place a chain right there with a spruce slab underneath. And then you can break your temporary blocks and looking from the side where they were, we are going to place two armor stands. Now we're going to put in some pistons, but we'll have to remove those stairs to do it. So we'll put our pistons facing down. I'll break that stair as well. Power our piston. And then we'll put in two temporary blocks. Power the pistons again, then break your pistons and your temporary blocks and we'll replace those three stairs. Now each side of our stored stand here, we're gonna place a flower pot with an azalea. So we'll do another one right there, and then grab this banner right here. We'll place one on each of those pillars, and we'll also place one up the ends, like so. Okay, come along to the left-hand corner, and just looking diagonally, we're gonna place an armor stand right there, now I'm going to decorate that with netherite armor. Obviously that is pretty expensive. You might want to just use gray armor like we did over there. And right here I'm going to place scaffolding and a lantern. Now we're going to look at the opposite corner over here and right in the corner we're going to do the same thing with the armor stand. And then right here we're going to place another armor stand just looking from the side. In front of that, we'll place two chains. Then we'll place two pistons and power those. So our chains get pushed in there. And then just on top, we're going to place an end rod on top of that chain. Okay, we'll build some seats around our rug. So what we're going to do is skip a block, place a temporary block there. And another one right there. And then we're going to go one, two, three right here. Now, on all sides except for the side facing our rug, we're going to put jungle trapdoors all the way around. So three like that, just placing them against the top of our temporary block. And then the same thing over here. We're going to wrap them all the way around except for the side facing the rug. And then we can break our temporary blocks and replace them with waxed cut copper slabs. And that's our room all done. So we're going to come through this doorway and into this room. Now we're looking at these two stone walls right here. So on this one, I'm going to break the stone, jump up here on the bottom left. I'm going to place a loom and we'll surround that with bookshelves. And over here, we'll break that stone. This time on the top left, place in our loom and our bookshelves. Right here, I'll do a flower pot with a lily of the valley, and over here I'll do a flower pot with a birch sapling. Then look over at the middle of this wall, and we're going to place three beehives there, with three red candles, and you can light them up. We'll put an item frame with some sweet berries, and a dead horn coral fan, and then we're going to hang that banner right there. Now turn around and face the opposite wall, right in the corner, we're going to place a sea lantern there, and in this corner, we're actually going to place four sea lanterns. Remember, you can use any light block that you like. And then we're going to run a line of snow blocks all the way along. So now you can look up at this fence post and we'll hang a bell from that. Then back to this wall, we'll put in five stone blocks with oak planks on the end and then three stripped oak there and another three. And then next to these sea lanterns, we'll put another three. Then grab some oak trap doors. We'll go one, two, three right there. And then four birch trap doors all the way down. And we'll repeat that on this side. Four birch trap doors. Now in this square, we're going to run snow blocks all the way around with a sea lantern in the middle. And around the sea lantern, we are going to place oak trap doors. And then where the sea lantern is, just find a painting that you like. So that's the painting I'm using. Now directly below that, I want to put a stripped dark oak log lying on its side. And then we'll put an extra one each side. And then on the ends, switch to the stripped dark oak that has bark on all six sides. And put one on each end. 
Then in the middle, we'll go three smooth quartz blocks, three white beds, and three smooth quartz slabs. Then grab some flower pots, we'll put them on the floor, each side of the bed, with azaleas. And that's it, this floor is all done. So what we're going to do is come up these stairs and just look through this doorway and over here we're going to place a flower pot with a dead bush and jungle leaves and just diagonally up from that place a temporary block, skip to place another temporary block and put in a painting. That's the one I'm going to use. And then staying on this wall we're going to come all the way to this corner. In the corner we'll put a stripped spruce wood that's the one with bark all the way around. Then we're going to skip a block and place another one with upside down spruce stairs. Then come to this side, hold shift and go one, two, three, four spruce trapdoors and open them all up. Against the top one, we'll go one, two, three barrels. Then you can put two spruce trapdoors there and three across the top. And on top of our stairs, we will put a flower pot with a brewing stand beside it. Then holding shift, two item frames up there with oak trapdoors. And we will turn them around to face like that. Then we will put another flower pot right there with a dead bush and flowering azalea leaves. And we'll put a scaffolding here with two sea pickles. And then we can turn to face this wall and starting next to the flower pot, we're going to skip two blocks. And then on the third, we'll place a dark oak slab and another, then two polished blackstone slabs and two more dark oak slabs. We'll knock out these blocks, place in sea lanterns. We'll do the same on this side and we'll cover those with dark oak trapdoors and then just behind them, we're going to use dark oak trapdoors again and just flick them up. Now grab a temporary block and place it right there. Then above that we'll place a painting. Then you can break your temporary block. Then grab some podzol and over here we'll go one, two, three. And we will surround this with acacia trapdoors all the way around with three rose bushes. And just next to our rose bush up here we're going to place a dark oak trapdoor with a lantern on top and then over in this corner we'll place podzol with two acacia trapdoors we'll put an azalea and a moss block on top then you can come through this doorway and look at that corner just over here what we're going to do is place six snow layers and again one two three four five six with two light gray beds and a chest and over in this corner we'll place a flower pot dead bush and two jungle leaves. Then turn to your left, we're going to skip a block from the bed and then go one, two, three, four oak planks. And these will have oak trapdoors flicking up on each end and then polished blackstone buttons. We're going to place two right there. Over here we'll place an end rod and I'll put a skeleton skull on top to make a little lamp. Uh, you can also use the ochre frog light there if you like. And then we'll put a iron pressure plate right there. Now we're going to put in some paintings. So just above our lamp, I want you to place a spruce trap door. Skip two blocks and place another. And we'll put a temporary block up there. And we're just going to find a nice painting for this area. I'm going to use that one. Now for down here in our cupboard, we want to find the two white paintings. They're identical. So that one there, we'll put one in. And then we'll find the other. There we go. And just next to this cupboard, we are going to place two grey beds. And then right in the corner, we'll do a scaffolding and lantern. Then turn around, face this wall, we'll grab an oak trapdoor. We'll place it right there with oak trapdoors each side and some cyan carpet on top. Then look up at the hoppers in the ceiling and just holding shift, we are going to attach a shroom light to each of those. And then on all sides of our shroom lights, we're going to hang that banner right there. So go ahead, do that for both of these. Okay, so now we'll come into this room and on top of the stone blocks, we're going to place spruce planks. Then come in here, we'll place two spruce trapdoors. And then four spruce trapdoors along that side and two on that side. And what we're going to do is waterlog those trapdoors and then fill the whole thing up with water. So we've got a nice little bathtub. We'll put four yellow candles there and light them up. 
And just above here, two dark oak trapdoors. We'll put a flower pot and an oxide daisy. And then we can look down on the floor here. And from the side, I want you to place two spruce buttons, then two item frames. And we're going to place two spruce trapdoors in there to make little sandals that we've taken off before our bath. Then we can turn around to this wall. On top of the stone, we're going to place spruce planks and we will surround that with spruce trapdoors. In the corner, we'll do two sea pickles, then two snow layers, and then a single snow layer. And over here, we'll place an oak trapdoor. And we'll put a, another oak trapdoor each side with cyan carpet. Okay, now we're going to place some banners. So come over to your bathtub. And just here on the third snow block up, we're going to place that banner. Then at the same height over here, we will place that one. Then look over to this wall and against the dark oak, we're going to place two jungle trapdoors. We'll put a temporary block there and then just find the painting that you want. I want that one. So we're all done in this side of the castle. Now we're going to run all the way around here to this room. And I want you to walk through and then look to your left. And we're going to count over three blocks. So one, two, three. On the third, we're going to skip that one, then break that and put in a sea lantern. And then we're just going to place a temporary block there, another one there, and we're going to find the painting we want. That's the one I want, so we can break those. Then turn to your right and look up at that acacia. We're going to come down two snow blocks, then one across, we'll break that, put in a sea lantern, two temporary blocks, and then we're going to find the white painting. And just below this painting right here, we're going to place some scaffolding with a lantern and then two podzol and we'll surround that with acacia trapdoors, plant bamboo and you can just let them grow all the way to the roof. Then over here we'll do an oak trapdoor and we'll put oak trapdoors each side of it with red carpet. Okay, now we are going to turn around, look at this wall. Up here, we're going to put two oak trapdoors with spruce slabs underneath. Then two spruce trapdoors, and we'll put a lantern right there. On top of the stone, four dark oak planks with two flower pots. We'll put a corn flower and a blue orchid. Now right here, I want you to knock out those two blocks. And we're going to place white banners slightly on the angle like that. And then just in front, two cyan beds and then two cut copper slabs. And then we're going to place snow layers that are one, two, three snow layers high. And we're going to do three of them on each side to make a nice bed. Then you can turn over here. We'll put a flower pot, a dead bush with flowering azalea leaves. And this floor is 100% done. So you can come up your stairs here. And either side of this door, we are going to hang this banner here. It's the one with the red line through the middle. But we're also going to hang two more over here. Then you can turn around, face this door. We're going to hang two right here. And that's all. We're not putting them in between those windows. And you can look up this fence post and hang a bell. And just in this little spot behind the bell, we're going to put a stone block right there. Then we'll do two barrels and a third one lying on its side. We'll do three orange candles and you can light those and then turn around in the same spot up this end. We'll put a chest, a fletching table, put down a campfire and put it out. And staying on this wall here, find the middle and place a scaffolding right there with two temporary stone blocks on either side. On top of those, the stripped oak wood. That's the one with bark all the way around. And then we'll place a temporary block there. On this side, we'll do an end rod. On this side, a chain, and you can break that. And we'll also place a chain right there. And you can break those temporary blocks. And we'll look from the side and where the blocks were. We're going to place armor stands. Then you can grab your pistons. We'll place two up there and power them. And then we'll grab temporary blocks underneath. Power them again, then we'll break the pistons and our temporary blocks. And then I want you to grab spruce trapdoors. And well, first of all, we'll put an extra stripped oak wood on each side. And then we'll put five spruce trapdoors across the front. 
And just above this, we're going to put two Dark Oak trapdoors. One of them will have a lantern on top, the other will have a flower pot with a fern in it. And then down here, we'll also put two flower pots, and these will have flowering azaleas. Now, look to your right, and just underneath this middle window, we're going to put a double chest, and then either side of that, looking from the side, we are going to put armor stands. And we'll have to break those two fences just for the moment because we're going to put two chains in front of each of these armor stands. And then you can come along, jump onto your chest, and we'll put two pistons in front of each chain. And then you can power each of those and then break all your pistons. And then just on top of our chains, we are going to place end rods. And you can put those two fences back. Now I want you to turn around, face the opposite wall, and just in between those stone blocks, we're going to put two upside down spruce stairs with two temporary stone on each side and then stripped dark oak wood. That's the one with bark on every side. And then I want you to look at the very sides of these banners. On this side, we are going to, whoops, that's wrong. There we go. On that side, we're going to place an end rod. And on this side, we're going to place a chain. And we're also going to place two chains right there. Then break your temporary blocks. And looking from the side, we're going to place two armor stands just like that. And then you can grab your pistons again. We'll place them up there. Power each of those. And then we'll put a temporary block underneath. Power them again. And then you can break your pistons and temporary blocks. And then what we're going to do is put two spruce trapdoors on each side, just like that. We'll put a scaffolding there with a flower pot and a blue orchid. And we'll put a chest right there. Then turn to your left. In the middle of this wall, we're going to put another chest right there with podzole each side. And we're going to surround our podzole with acacia trapdoors. And on each of these, we're going to plant a dead bush. And they will have two jungle leaves above, just like that. Then I want you to look to your left and right here. We're going to place a grindstone. Then over here we'll do a chest with a note block and a barrel on top. And a crafting table in front. Then you can turn around in this corner up here. We'll put two bookshelves with a lantern. Then right here, just on the angle, I'm going to put an armor stand. And once again, I'm decorating this with netherite armor, but you could just use gray armor instead. And believe it or not, guys, we are 100% finished. So if you've been building the entire castle, I have to say congratulations, guys. That was a mammoth effort. And if you were just here to get furniture ideas, I hope you got lots and lots. So make sure to leave a like on the video, guys, and I will see you next time.